morning students in the previous class i have started exercise 4.3 and i have uh, done some problems today uh, i am going to do question number 8 from exercise 4.3 again it is uh, this uh, this is a word problem based on speed speed distance and time okay and uh, Uh, some other questions are there in exercise four point three. Try to solve. Okay, see this one. A tra train travels three sixty kilometer at a uniform speed. Okay, so uniform speed means you know three sixty kilometer at a uniform speed. If the speed had been five kilometer per hour more, means if the speed change means it changed five kilometer per hour more, it would have taken one hour less for the same journey. I I mean to say that is clear it. A train is traveling 360 km per hour. Means 360 km in uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, then it would have taken one hour less for the same journey. Understood? Try to understand the question. I repeat once again. In uniform speed is 360 km per hour. If the speed Had been five kilometer or more, then it would have taken one hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. Okay, let the speed of the train be x kilometer hour. This is the main normal speed. What they are saying, this is okay. Now see, we have speed equal distance by time. All of you know. Then time equal distance by speed. Then time into speed is equal to distance. Clear? Okay. Now, according to question, we know that the time into speed speed is equal to distance, time, and speed. So, and now speed has been changed up to how five kilometer per hour. That means what is the normal speed? Actual speed is what is the actual speed? Means normal means actual speed. What is actual speed? X so five kilometer per hour more. So x plus five. This is okay speed. Now. Time. You have to see the time. If the speed is five kilometer or more, kilometer per hour more, it would have taken one hour less for the journey. Okay. Now see, what is the actual time? Time is equal to distance by speed. Three sixty and speed is x. This is the actual time or not? Now one hour less means three sixty by minus x minus three sixty by x three sixty by x minus one. So this is the Time and this is speed. So speed into time is equal to how much? Three sixty. Understood? Because they cover the same distance. Speed same. That is why time also changes. Speed five kilometer or more and time one or less. Clear? Now x plus five. If you take uh, here x as LCM, then you'll get three sixty minus x. Now x plus five into three sixty minus x. Then is equal to 360. Then if you multiply these two, then you will get 360x minus x square plus 1800 minus 5x. And if you cross multiply multiply this one, then you will get 360 into x 360x. Clear? Now see 360 360 cancel. Then what is left? Minus x square plus 1800 minus 5x is equal to zero. Now uh, this x square is minus. To change this symbol means to make it standard form. Then multiply by minus is of the term. Then minus. Plus x square, then this 5x plus 5x, and plus 1800 will be minus 1800. Now, if you factorize by or if you use any method to find the roots, then you will get. Actually, I have done this one by factorization. That is, that is why I am getting x plus 45, x minus 40. These two factors, okay? Then x is equal is equal to minus 45, x is equal to 40. So, this piece never be negative. So this way, this is neglected. So, x is equal to 40. That means speed of the train is 40 km per hour. Clear? This is the actual speed of the train. Next, next. Uh, uh, actually, I don't want to do now uh, some again problems from exercise four point three because I have done some questions. Now your time. Try to solve the other question. In case any doubt, you can ask me. Okay. In the evening, I will give you the solution. But first, uh, first of all, you have to try yourself. Those questions I have not. Those questions are I have not solved from exercise four point three. Please uh, solve it by yourself. And get back to me. Okay. Next 
exercise 4.4 this for 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 before starting this exercise uh, i want to recall these things already i have told you but i want to recall that nasar of roots already i told you nasar of roots is called discriminant and the conditions are a b square minus 4ac greater than 0 it has two distinct real digits a b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 it has two equal roots a b square minus 4ac less than 0 it has no real roots okay next see question number 1 Find the nature x is 4.4. Find the nature of the roots of the flowing quadratic equation. If the real roots exist, find them. Means you need to find the nature of the roots first. If we can see real roots exist, then if you need to find out. So first question: 2x square minus 3x plus 5 is equal to 0. And second one is 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Question number one. 2x uh, square minus 3x plus 5. First of all, into say b square minus 4ac. What is in the place of b minus 3? So minus 3 square minus 4a. a is 2 and c is 5. 4 2 is 8. 8 5 is 40. It's minus 31. We can see that b square minus 4ac is less than 0 because minus 31 is less than 0. So it has no real roots. So it has no real roots. So no need to find the roots because you cannot find out the roots now. Okay. It has no real roots. In case real roots, then only you need to find out. So it has no real roots. It is why no need to find out any roots. No need to find it, okay? Because you cannot find. No, no need to find. I mean, I mean to say, uh, it, it it does not has real roots. So maybe it has. Uh, means you will get in a higher classes. It is imaginary roots. So in this question, it is clear that if if the real roots exist, then only need to find it. So it does not has real roots. So it's okay. So as you write, so it has no real roots. Question so number 2, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now b square minus 4ac in the place of b minus 4 root 3x square minus 4a, a is 3 and c is 4. So this is minus 4 minus 4 16 is 4, 3 square root cancel 3 then minus 48, 16 3 is a 48, 40 is minus 48, 0. So we got that uh, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. That means it has two equal real roots. Understood? So if it has two equal to real roots, then you need to find them. Because in the question is clear that find means if the, if the real roots exist, find them. So see, here, uh, again, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4. So if you factorize, then you can see 3 4s are 12. Means by multiply, you have to get 12 or plus, or plus or minus, you have to get for root either plus or minus sometimes it is matching with plus or sometimes with minus you know already so 3x square in the place of 4 root 3 you can write 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 x plus 4 is equal to 0 2 root 3 2 root 3 2 2 is a 4 and root 3 root 3 3 4 3 is a 12 clear next 3x square minus 2 root 3x minus plus minus 2 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, if you take common 3x, sorry, x then what is f here? 3x minus, sorry then little mistake um, if you take common here uh, root 3x then you will get root 3x minus 2 see clearly root 3 into root 3 3 and root 3 into 2 minus 2 root 3 it's, it's matching next here also you will get same common root 3x sorry same thing root 3x plus This is root 3x plus 2. Then here you have to write 2 because minus 2 into root 3 to root 3x minus 2 into this is minus. Okay. This is minus. So I have done plus actually before. It is mistake. Root 3x plus minus 2. Please uh, see uh, this one. Actually, in that place I have done a little mistake. See clearly this one. If you take common root 3x, then you will get root 3x minus 
2 now you can see this valence on root 3 3 3 is square root 3 into minus 2 minus 2 root 3 is clear then here also get same thing then common you can write 2 2 into root 3 minus 2 root 3x minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 correct so overall common minus root 3x minus 2 and uncommon also root 3x minus 2 therefore the value of x is 2 by root 3 and again what you will get 2 by root 3 see here already um, we got d square minus 4 is, is equal to 0 that is why we will get the same means equal real roots we can see it is equal 2 by root 3 2 by root 3 what the roots are equal okay next question number 2 find the value of k for each of the flowing quadratic equations so that they have two equal roots means it is already given that uh, that in this equation if uh, what is the value of k then this equation has equal roots it is given in the question they have equal roots so first uh, question, uh, two two number kx x minus 2 plus 6 first multiply and write in the standard form kx into x, kx square kx into 2 minus 2kx plus 6 is equal to 0 now first of all we have to see the question that it has two equal roots so according to the question if two equal roots means what b square minus 4 is equal to 0 so b square minus 4 is equal to 0 so in the place of b put the value of b b so this uh, uh, coefficient of x is twice k so minus twice k minus twice k so minus twice k all is k for a a is k and c is 6 so minus minus plus 2k 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 into 2k 4k is k then 4 6 is 24k if we take common 4k k minus 6 is equal to 0 therefore 4k is equal to 0 or k minus 6 is equal to 0 so k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 6 so if you put in the place of k 0 it is not possible why if you put in the place of k 0 then this will become 0 so it will not become a quadratic equation because you will not get the um, degree of the polynomial is 2 if k is 0 ok so that is why it is not possible k is equal to 0 the correct answer is k is equal to 6 next question question number 3 is it possible to design a rectangular mango group whose length is twice its breadth and the area is 800 meter square if so find its length and breadth see in this question uh, uh, they are saying about a mango group the mango group means um, you can say mango garden okay rectangular mango garden whose length is twice its breadth first of all you need to see that uh, this statement is possible or not if it is possible then find the length and breadth okay here let the breadth be x because length is twice its breadth then length will be twice x now according to question uh, area is how much 800 meter square so length into breadth is equal to 800 meter square so x into twice x is equal to 800 next twice x is square is equal to 800 with x into twice is twice is square so if you divide by 2 if because when you transfer this to under right hand side it will be divided 800 divided by 2 is 400 so x is square minus 400 is, is, is equal to 0 now you have to check um, it is possible or not to check it we need to check the root uh, real roots if it, it has real root then it is possible so b square minus 4 is c means the nature of the roots you have to check so b in the place of b you can see b is not here so you can write 0 is square minus 4 a a is 1 c is minus 400 so it is plus 1600 so you get 1600 that means b square minus 4 is greater than 0 so it is possible because it has real roots so it is possible so it is if it is possible then find the length and breadth so again what do you got x square minus 400 is equal to 0 so x square is equal to 400 so x is equal to what if you take out the square then you will get a plus minus root of 400 means square root of 400 is 20 so plus minus 20 means x is equal to 20 or x is equal to minus 20 and you know that that uh, length and breadth will never be negative so it is neglected that x equal to 20 acceptable so length is what twice x so 2 into 20 40 and breadth is how much x so breadth is 20 meter so length is 40 meter and breadth is 20 meter clear i have all of you understood this okay so please see your homework exercise 4.3 question number 9 10 and 11 and exercise 4.4 4, question number 1 3 and question number 2 1 and question number 4 okay so if you, any, you have any confusion regarding the solutions those questions i have done 
प्लीज गेट बैक टू मी इन द इवनिंग एंड प्लीज ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चंस दोज आई हैव गिवन होमवर्क एंड सब मे इन द इवनिंग थैंक यू सो मच